Oh man, I can't do this alone. Seems like you might need some spider help. Yeah, I had everything planned out. The clues, the screens, the art, the people, everything has to be perfect. Whoa, 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 okay, I got you. Can you explain a little slower? What happened? <sighs> okay, I want to ask someone to homecoming, but he's special. I couldn't just do flowers or chocolate. I got some screens, and I want to light them up with the message, but the generator's busted. Guy who rented it out to me won't answer. What a scam. I think I can help. Thanks. I rented the generator from Reynolds and Company Rentals. I'll send you the address. On it. Generators are going for a lot these days. This baby's ours. You understand? That's no ordinary rental transaction. Good gear! takes care of these guys. I should check on the salesperson. Thanks, Spider-Man. Glad to help. Your client asked me to look into a delivery delay. I guess we got our answer. Yeah, about that. I'd love to deliver this thing, but those idiots already did so much damage. If she's salvageable, it'll take weeks of repairs. Mind delivering the bad news for me? Can do. Better call Vijay and give him the bad news. Tell me some good news. Well, it's news. Generator's busted. Wait. Okay, I'm not out of ideas yet. Just come back. I've got something else in mind. Since the generator's no good, does BB have any backup ones? I know they keep generators on the roof, but they're all overpowered for my setup. We'd blow a fuse. Unless we find something underpowered. I should be able to pick up that low voltage frequency. And your electrical powers would fill in the rest. Theoretically. Worth a shot. Or a shock. I've got a friend who would love that joke. Found a generator, but it's deactivated. See? That should work great. Mind giving it your special... spark? We got the voltage we need. Now we just gotta route it to the ground floor. Yes! I knew you'd figure it out. Maybe I could connect these power nodes.
sure seems to be traveling through an old circuit. go into electrical engineering. You definitely saw me. Thank you. A million. Oh, maybe you should call yourself the Great Electric Spider. Thanks. I like Spider-Man just fine. Oh! Just got a text. He's on his way. Uh... Don't go just yet. I could still use your help. Just hide. BJ's texting me. What? A whiteboard. <laughs> oh, BJ. What are you up to? Wait a sec. That's the equation he helped me with on our first date. Study session. Study date? Spider-Man, that's the first clue. Mind flipping it? <laughs> okay, looks like I'm going this way. <laughs> okay, what is this? Aw, oh, that's the movie we saw when we had our first kiss. Look, oh, braces, lip balm and all. <laughs> but still, best kiss ever. Spider-Man, poster is stuck. Can you give it a tug? <laughs> oh! <laughs> VJ must be in the quad. Time for the big reveal. Find a seat and grab some popcorn. Vijay, this whole thing has you written all over it. I've always known you're a special guy, and I'm lucky you're my special guy. I love you, Lucas. Will you... Will you... Uh... Home? Uh... Not exactly. Gotta be something I can do to help here. I need to use my chain like this. Ah! Homecoming? Oh, VJ, of course. Matching sequin blazers? Hell yeah. Phew, that was close. Thank you for making this possible. Holy crap. You really got Spider-Man in on this? Best day ever. Anything for love, guys. Happy for you both. Enjoy homecoming. Sure. I'm excited to see what you're up to. Great. I'm excited to show you. Oh, gotta grab this call from MJ. See you soon. Hey, how you doing? Good. Just got off the phone with Harry, and this foundation thing could be interesting. Oh, nice. Some hope on my work front, too. I dug into the tech that gang used to mess with the prison transfer. It's DARPA-level stuff. Yeah, whoever's behind them has a ton of resources. Miles thinks he saw their leader. Some kind of big game hunter, fur vest-looking guy. Interesting. I'll keep digging. If I can get the story on the front page, it might help us track him down faster. Maybe save my job, too. Chief 
Clark, everything okay? We're about to demolish a hospital that was damaged during Sandman's attack, but there's a lot of debris slowing down the technicians. If you're free, they could really use your webs to help keep the building stable while they work. Absolutely. Thanks. We'll keep working until you get here. to let you know that I talked to Gloria, and Feast is gonna send a donation truck to the house tomorrow for the rest of May stuff. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to go through everything by then. Could you cancel that? I promise I'll donate it all myself as soon as I'm finished with... Uh, everything. I'll call him right now. But don't push yourself too hard, Parker. I'm serious. Hey, you know I'd much rather be curled up next to you with the latest physics journal right now. Especially that French one. Sometimes you're just too romantic. I'll talk to you. Say what you will about social media, and I can... So many businesses stay afloat here when they would have gone under a long time ago. An arms deal, not good. Hey! Are you crashing my fight or am I crashing yours? We're crashing crime, dude! Fight pieces on me. It's Emily's tree. This is perfect. You made it. I thought you said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less this. But my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker. <laughs> so, what do you think? A far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. <laughs> and now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking. Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was gonna give him a tour. Let him... Decide for himself. All right. You know, seeing you boys together again. Right then. Have fun. 
Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. So the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this place. Right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you... She got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission to heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is? Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees, or to be more precise, on bee predators. Okay, this is Ready to talk to Dr. Young? You must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator. A carnivorous bee wolf. So, we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Wanna see how? Whoa, this is cool. These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that were trained to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA, bee wolves. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic beetles? The better you are at shooting the bees, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves and shoot after them. Oh, nice! Yes! You're done, Peter. A very productive session. We got great data. Okay, flying home. Welcome to Entomology. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. Now, up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work, using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. <laughs> Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh, any chance it can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh. Yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness. Aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call. But, uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. Cool fish. Not just fish, research subjects. Want to see them? Yeah. 
Japanese koi fish have well-studied pigmentation variation, which is ideal for our research into enhanced reflectivity. Stacks of intracellular anhydrous guanine crystals. Separated by cytoplasm, we're finding it very useful for eco-friendly roofing materials. So cool! I would have loved this place. Did you do the XRF analysis? Well, what hey, if I a what are you doing with these bikes? We're working on ultra-efficient batteries, charged by bicycles. These bikes? Can I ride them? Not right now, but when they're road ready, we'll need people to test them. Nice. I'll try to come back. Guess this is what it's like working for an Oswald. Yeah. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. Did you hear about Roger? You really have a particle accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but I'll let it back up in no time. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. So put your way back helmet on and think back. Even before high school. To middle school. Okay. Now, do you know the... Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Brevor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey, when you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? Yes, that was so great. Interesting research project. And lowers the old cortisol levels, too. Right? I honestly think it's one of my favorite spots in the building. The algorithm is similar to long division, uh, if you look at it that way. Got it. Mm -hmm. Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination of plants and plants the SRIs for challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test, man? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Match the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Interesting. Okay, I think I can handle it. Great, now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized. But ours are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. Let's see. One step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. Listen, I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course. Beautiful work, Peter. Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. I know a rooftop you could use for a real world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. 
might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show off. Your office. Or is it our office? Harry. Now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet, not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on, where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. Uh, where did I put it? Don't tell me you lost it. Nope, false alarm. Right here. Go ahead. Swipe. Wow. Man. Harry. This is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it. If you join me, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> Come on. Let's make my mom and me proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> <laughs> Quick thing. <laughs> I'm gonna need a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Coney Island later, yeah? You bet. <laughs> oh, hey, I forgot to tell you. Some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. I've sent you the location, and your badge will grant you access. All right, I'll swing by. 